Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to call to order the Commission Reorganization Meeting. It's November 16th, 5.02 in the afternoon. At this time, I'd like to recognize Commissioner Richardson to introduce our special guest who will be providing the invocation. Commissioner Richardson. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I am honored by this opportunity to introduce our pastor that will do the invocation for this evening. Uh, he is the Reverend Dr. Julius Harrison McAllister, Jr., pastor of the Bethel AME Church here in Tallahassee. He and his family are celebrating their 12th year of serving the spiritual needs, not only of the congregation of Bethel AME Church, uh, but the city of Tallahassee. And so with that, Reverend, if you would come forward and provide us with an invocation. If you would stand, please and remain standing afterwards for the Pledge of Allegiance. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we come again with humble hearts as we enter into another year of thanksgiving. We thank you for the joy in knowing a God who is supreme, compassionate, caring, and loving. We thank you for this special day a signature moment in the life of this region as we begin a new journey. We thank you, O oh God, for the leadership of our mayor and the members of the city commissioners who serve with distinction. We thank you, O oh God, for their sterling and stupendous leadership within the life of our community. We thank you for the re-election of City Commissioner Curtis Richardson. We pray your richest blessings upon him as he will assume the Herculean task in providing leadership for our city. The fiduciary responsibility of this office carries a lot of concerns, issues, and many moments of extreme anxiety. But we ask in your infinite wisdom, we ask that you will endow his spirit with wisdom, knowledge, and discernment. We pray for a successful term as newly elected city commissioner Jack Porter begins a new political odyssey. Grant her wisdom, grant her courage for the facing of challenging issues. You continue to reveal in ways that are beyond articulation that leadership matters. Keep and bless Commissioner Elaine Bryant. Thank you for this the inspiration she provided while serving the best interests of her constituency. Now, God, there are many challenges before us and much work to do. However, I pray, dear God, that you will walk with, talk with, guide and bless every effort of the men and women associated with this office. Give each of them wisdom, wherewithal and the mindset and confidence to do their very best today, henceforth, and forevermore. It's in your name we pray. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance, I pledge allegiance to, the to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, God indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Reverend McAllister. It's always a pleasure to see you. And we appreciate you providing the invocation. On behalf of the City Commission, uh, let me welcome everybody to this special occasion. This is the formal reorganization of the new commission. It's always exciting as we swear in a current member who was reelected, and a new member of the Tallahassee City Commission, Jack Porter. First and foremost, though, I would like to recognize, and this is always dangerous, folks, because you're always afraid you're going to miss somebody, and I think I've got everybody, but let me real quickly acknowledge um, those elected officials and previously served elected officials that have joined us in chambers. I do see uh, Judge Nina Ashinoffi Richardson, Your Honor. Thank you for joining us. Uh, I do see Tabitha Frazier, who is a current member of Leon County Soil and Water Conservation Board. 
I see former Commissioner Debbie Lightsey and former Commissioner Nancy Miller. I believe I, I have been able to recognize everyone here. Thank you so much for taking time out to join us today. We certainly do appreciate it. As is tradition at the beginning of the reorganization ceremonies, we always take a second to recognize past elected officials um, that have departed us. And I would like to take a second and read the biographies of two previous mayor city commissioners that both passed away in 2019. Lee Everhart. Mayor Lee Everhart was born in High Point, North Carolina in October 1928. Prior to graduating from the University of Virginia, he attended public schools in North Carolina and the Porter Military Academy in Charleston, South Carolina. After college, he moved to Tallahassee. In 1951, along with George Langford, he co-founded Municode Corporation, a firm specializing in editing and publishing local government ordinance books. The city of Tallahassee was the firm's first client, and the city has continued that relationship ever since. Beyond Municode, he was also involved in the mortgage banking and construction industries, building more than 2,000 homes and apartment units in the early 1970s. In 1961, he moved to the Waverly Hills neighborhood, residing there for many years. He was elected to the city commission in 1969 for a three-year term, and he served as mayor in 1970. In 1978, Mayor Everhart was named Florida Builder of the Year by the Florida Home Builders Association. He died November 26, 2019, at the age of 91. Mm. Lee Everhart. Mayor Jean Berkowitz was born in Newark, New Jersey in February 1926. In the early 1930s, his family moved to Key West, Florida, where he grew up and completed most of his schooling. In 1943, the family moved to New Orleans, where he completed school and entered military service. During World War II, he served in the U.S. Coast Guard in the North Atlantic Fleet as a sonar operator protecting convoys from German U-boats. After the D-Day invasion, he served in the South Pacific for the remainder of the war. Afterward, he attended Tulane University before eventually marrying and settling in Tallahassee, where he was a longtime resident of the Waverly Hills neighborhood. For many years, he operated a linen supply business, Jeans Linen Supply. Berkowitz was elected to two three-year terms on the Tallahassee City Commission from 1967 to 1973. He served two terms as mayor in 1968 and in 1971. He was Tallahassee's second Jewish mayor. He died December 29th, 2019, at the age of 93. And now for the business at hand. I'd now like to turn the program of old business over to the city manager for two very special presentations. Mr. Manager, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, commissioners, to everyone. It's a great day today. We look forward to these. The energy in the room, I think, was apparent before we uh, began. At this time, I would like to recognize two of our commissioners for their service. Commissioner Bryant and Commissioner Richardson, if you can join me here at the podium, we'd like to recognize you. Thank you. To serve on this body requires an unwavering commitment to our community. Both of these individuals stand here with me today and have time and time again demonstrated their dedication as they've tackled challenges big and small. Their impact can be seen in many accomplishments that were achieved under their leadership. We're grateful for their service and tonight we'd like to recognize each of them. I will first begin with you, Commissioner Bryant, and then I'll uh, get your comments and I'll recognize Commissioner Richardson. Commissioner Elaine W. Bryant was appointed to the Tallahassee City Commission on December 31st, 2018. She quickly established herself as an attentive, forward-thinking, and steady leader. And any of you that know her know that that is absolutely spot on. With a background in education, entrepreneurship, organizational development, and public service, she brought the skills and temperament 
needed to be a leading voice in the development of the city's first ever five-year strategic plan, one that we follow today. Her holistic focus on people, processes, and productivity have added lasting value that will improve the lives of Tallahassee residents for years to come. During her tenure, Commissioner Bryant has been a strong proponent, proponent of enhanced transparency and community engagement, supporting efforts to expand involvement in commission meetings and incorporating citizen feedback in her decision-making process. As a member of the City Commission, she has continually sought to build consensus and dive deeper into issues, exploring ideas that can push the needle forward. Those are your words. Those are the words that you use with me all the time about pushing the needle forward, Commissioner. Uh, and we have, and you have, and we appreciate that. Commissioner Bryant, with sincere appreciation for your service and dedication, I'd like to present you with a plaque, uh, uh, a symbol of a token of our uh, gratitude and appreciation. I'm going to grab it and I'm going to read it and present it to you. If you'll hold it, hold it with me. It reads, uh, on behalf of the city of Tallahassee, presented to Dr. Elaine W. Bryant, in recognition of service to the citizens of the city of Tallahassee, city commission, December 2018 to November 2020. Congratulations, Commissioner. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Uh, first to our city manager and to the uh, city Commission, our mayor, and my fellow commissioners. Uh, and even though I won't be sitting there, uh, they will still be my fellow commissioners. So when I see them wherever, I'll be calling on them just like I've been calling on them up until this moment. I am just delighted, really, to have this opportunity to say a word because it gives me the opportunity to say thank you to special people. And I want to start by saying thank you to those persons who work for the city of Tallahassee. This place could not move forward if we did not have <clears throat> excellent, exemplary employees. So my first hat off is to all of them. But then they would not know what to do if we did not have great leadership. So my hat is off to our city manager, uh, to all of the elected and, uh, and appointed officials. They make decisions every day that moves the, moves the needle from where we are to where we say that we're going. And then to my fellow commissioners, we set policy, that's our job. And then staff implements policy and ensures that staff actually carries it out. That's the way that ball should roll. So I'm extremely excited every time we come to a commission meeting and there is some something that needs to be done, because they know I'm looking for the connectivity to our strategic plan. And you know what? Every time now, without fail, it's there. That's a big plus for the city of Tallahassee. So I'm excited. Uh, I tell people that don't know me, I am a Christian. I don't mind telling people that. And that the plan that the Lord has for my life included two years here. So I'm excited about that. But now he's opened up a whole new book. And every now and then, you know, he'll give you a little clue about what it is that's in store for you. So I'm excited about moving down that path. <clears throat> I have told uh, Commissioner Elect, soon Commissioner Jack Porter, <laughs> that uh, when I, at, it's no sooner than she got elected, soon thereafter, that look, whatever I can do to help you, that's what I'm going to do. Some people may say, Elaine, why would you do that? Because you know what? Our mission is about the city of Tallahassee. And that's what I'm about, the city of Tallahassee. So I told her parents and I've told her, look, that's what we ought to do to serve this present age, our calling to fulfill. Thank you so much, commissioners, Mr. Manager, all of you. Thank you.
Thank you, Commissioner Bryant. Now, Commissioner Richardson, we'd like to recognize you. Commissioner Curtis Richardson was first elected to the Tallahassee City Commission in 2014 and re-elected in 2016. He brought with him decades of public service experience that has provided invaluable perspective to many discussions. I can attest to that. In fact, his long history of service makes selecting highlights a little challenging, frankly. You have many, sir, and we appreciate that. So I'd like to just list a few to recognize what you have meant to our community uh, before being a city commissioner and after. As a member of the original Blueprint Committee and the subsequent Sales Tax Committee, and now through his service, your service on the uh, Intergovernmental Agency, the IA Board, uh, he has supported the successful implementation of many large-scale infrastructure projects and economic de development initiatives that now define our community. Just a couple to name are Cascades Park and FAMU Way, but there are many, many more, as we all know, that make our community very special. A hallmark of his tenure to, on the commission through his work uh, to champion strong, safe neighborhoods, ensuring that every resident can stay safe as they live in an all-America city that we have. He was actively involved in Operation Safe Neighborhoods when you walked door to door, sir. You walked door to door with our first responders, some of which are here tonight, uh, to let the neighborhoods know that you were there for them and the city of Tallahassee was there for him. You also were involved in the approval of the Greater Bond Neighborhood First Plan just last year. You did that and allocated more than $6 million to that neighborhood for its betterment. There are many more accomplishments that I could list. These are only a few that you've been involved with to allow our city to grow. Commissioner Richardson, with sincere appreciation for your service and dedication and continued service, I'd like to present you with this plaque, and I'd like to read it for the benefit of the audience. This plaque reads, uh, on behalf of the city of Tallahassee, presented to Commissioner Richardson, Curtis Richardson, in recognition of service to the citizens of the city of Tallahassee, city commission, November 2016 to November 2020. Let's give him a hand. All right. Thank you, Mr. City Manager. Thank each of you. I'm going to try not to get emotional. I don't know why this is happening, but uh, I first of all want to thank the city manager for this recognition. I want to thank the voters of the city of Tallahassee for reelecting me to the city commission. Uh, as the manager mentioned, I have spent uh, a great deal of my adult life, almost half of my adult life here in Tallahassee serving the citizens of Tallahassee and Leon County and District 8 in the Florida House of Representatives. And uh, it has been a pleasure to serve. I believe in this community. I love this community. Uh, there is no place else I would want to live other than the city of Tallahassee, this all-America city that she has been twice designated. Uh, and I'm honored to say that I have had a hand in creating uh, that all-America city, as you've heard from the city manager, uh, in the various roles that I've had, not only in elective office, but in the volunteer service that I have given to the community uh, as well. I am pleased to have served with this august body, Commissioner Matlow, uh, our Mayor Pro Tem, Diane Williams-Cox, and certainly our Mayor, uh, John Daly. Uh, and with my short six years on the commission to be considered the dean <laughs> of the city commission. We have accomplished a great deal uh, in the short time that I have been here and uh, the time that I have served with the current commission. Uh, from, as Commissioner Bryant spoke about, uh, our strategic plan, which we did not have an overall strategic plan, uh, but she was instrumental in us developing our strategic plan. We have the strongest, uh, one of the strongest, if not the strongest, ethics policies in the state of Florida, recognizing that we require a lot uh, of our employees and ourselves in terms of our ethical and moral behavior 
uh, as elected and appointed officials. I want to recognize our appointed officials who do a stellar job in leading the city of Tallahassee, particularly our city manager. I have the utmost faith and confidence in his ability to lead and what he has brought to the city manager's post uh, here in the city of Tallahassee and look forward to continuing to work with him uh, alongside of him and his leadership team, which is phenomenal as we continue to address the challenges facing our community, some of which are growth, determining how we will grow, where we will grow, the responsibility of that growth to preserve our neighborhoods uh, and protect those established neighborhoods, to protect our environment, uh, our tree canopy, which we hold so dear uh, here in the, in the city of Tallahassee, to ensure public safety, regardless of where an individual lives uh, in the city of Tallahassee. My wife and I chose to build our home on the south side of Tallahassee, and I want the citizens in that area and in Frenchtown and the west side of Tallahassee and the east side to all feel as safe in their neighborhoods as anyone else in the city of Tallahassee. We have led the way uh, in terms of our clean energy commitment. Uh, and we're hoping, Mr. City Manager, that by the year 2035, we will become carbon neutral. Uh, our goal is 2050, but we're setting our sights on 2035, Barbara. I see you and Tabitha nodding your heads. <laughs> That is our goal. Uh, we have a fantastic team here at the city of Tallahassee who provide quality services second to none that you will find in any municipality in the state of Florida. Uh, our water is some of the best uh, in the state of Florida, if not in the nation. Uh, our parks have been rated consistently uh, number one in the United States of America. Our services, our public utilities, are rated uh, among the best in the country. Uh, our airport, and I could go on and on uh, with where the city of Tallahassee leads in terms of the services that we provide to our citizens. And so I'm looking forward to these next four years and what it will bring. Uh, Mr. Mayor, we're looking for your leadership as our mayor, uh, our commissioners, and working with the city manager, our appointed officials, and uh, all of our staff, the 28, between 2,800 and 3,000 employees of the city of Tallahassee. And the one thing I'll say that I'm extremely proud of that we were able to do during this pandemic in light of an economic uh, slowdown, our city manager was able to balance two budgets without an economic hardship on our citizens. We did not raise taxes, and we did not fire one employee of the city of Tallahassee. So they and their families are still taken care of, and I'm very proud that we were able to accomplish that. So again, thank you all so much, and I look forward to these next four years serving all of the citizens of the city of Tallahassee. Thank you so much. At this time, I'd like to recognize the city attorney, Cassandra Jackson, for the, uh, for the installation and um, the treasurer clerk uh, for the presentation of the electric, uh, election certificate. Madam thank Attorney. You, thank you, Mayor and City Commissioners. It certainly is my pleasure to be here today and have this honor to actually swear in uh, my bosses. It, uh, I think as appointed officials, we are in a very unique position to see the very important work that is done for the citizens of the city of Tallahassee. I think we see more probably than anyone else the struggle of this commission to provide the best public service possible and to meet the public interest. Uh, and it is a struggle because there is a lot to balance. So we have a, a, a tremendous opportunity and it is my pleasure to swear in, first of all, Commissioner Richardson.
Yeah. Please okay. bring your family yeah. up. Did you want to introduce them? Yes. Uh, you all uh, heard the introduction of my wife earlier, Judge Nina Ashkenazi Richardson. And this is my youngest daughter, uh, Aida Richardson. She's a 10th grader in public schools here in Leon County. Our oldest, uh, Karina, is a midshipman at the United States Naval Academy, and she's there. Uh, they've got them on lockdown, so she <laughs> couldn't make it home for the ceremony, but I certainly wanted to introduce her as well. Thank and my sister-in-law has joined us as well, Sanait Ashanath. Thank you. So if you would raise your right hand. I, and state your name. I, Curtis Richardson. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support, protect, and defend. That I will support, protect, and defend. The Constitution and Government of the United States. The Constitution and Government of the United States. The State of Florida. The State of Florida. And the City of Tallahassee. And the City of Tallahassee. That I am duly qualified to hold office. That I am duly qualified to hold office. Under the Constitution of the State of Florida. Under the Constitution of the State of Florida. And that I will well and faithfully perform. And that I will well and faithfully perform. The duties of the Office of City Commissioner. The duties of the Office of City Commissioner. On which I am about to enter, so help me God. On which I am about to enter, so help me God. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> It's my privilege to present certificates of election to these two individuals who have just won election to the City Commission. As I do so, I'd like to point out that the certificate of election looks backward and it looks forward. It's backward in that it recognizes uh, the culmination of an election process uh, in which these individuals were selected to serve. It looks forward in the sense that the recipient of this certificate will serve the next four years um, as a commissioner of the city of Tallahassee. The official election process began months ago with qualifying. Those who ran for office know it started a long time before that. Um, and similarly, uh, well, people who've run for office have a unique understanding of the office. They understand what's unique about campaigning. They have an appreciation for the effort it requires to campaign, the energy it takes to campaign, and the time demanded of you when you campaign. And similarly, those who have held office know and have a unique appreciation for the effort it requires, for the energy it takes, and the time that it demands. So the certificate is small, but it signifies both a significant accomplishment as well as a significant and substantial commitment. First, I'll present a certificate to Curtis Richardson. As you've already heard, Commissioner Richardson is no stranger to this role. Throughout his 40 plus years in Tallahassee, he's been involved in his community. He's worked in several jobs, all of which I think could probably be called service jobs. Uh, he has volunteered in a myriad of roles He's been elected to a number of different positions. In the midst of all that, he's raised a family here. And if smiling faces are a sign of well-adjusted people, then it's clear to me that his commitment to the community has never compromised his love for his family. Commissioner Richardson's campaign website speaks of affordable housing, support for neighborhoods, and equality across all sectors of Tallahassee, again, as you've already heard him remark. I suspect he'll speak of those things for the next four years, because that's what he spoke of last year and the year before and the year before that. I'm not a campaign consultant, but I suspect that kind of consistency is the sort of thing that allows somebody to get elected in the first place in 2014. And I'm sure it's required for someone to be reelected in 2016 and now again in 2020. So with that, let me read the words of this certificate. Certificate of election, the undersigned as city treasurer clerk, 
does hereby certify that Curtis Richardson has been duly elected by municipal election to the office of city commission for a term of four years to begin upon taking the oath of office at 5 p.m. on November 16th, 2020, at which time the powers, duties, and responsibilities of the office, as defined by the laws of the state of Florida and the charter and ordinances of said city, will be assumed, given under my hand and the official seal of the city of Tallahassee, Florida, Jim Cook, city treasurer clerk. Congratulations and welcome back. Thank you. So now it is my pleasure to call uh, Commissioner-elect Jack Porter to come forward and to bring whoever she would like to come with her. Would you like to introduce them? If you would raise your right hand and repeat after me, I, I Catherine Porter, thank you, do sw solemnly, swear I solemnly swear that I will support, protect, and defend the Constitution and Government of the United States, the Constitution and Government of, of the State of Florida, and the City of Tallahassee. That I am duly qualified to hold office under the Constitution of the State of Florida, and that I will well and faithfully perform the duties of the Office of City Commissioner, on which I am about to enter, so help me God. Congratulations. I said I get to present two certificates. So next I'll present this certificate to Jacqueline Jack Porter. You may not know it, but in some ways her story and my story and Commissioner Richardson's story <laughs> and a lot of stories in Tallahassee are similar. She was born elsewhere, Brazil, farther than most of us. But uh, <laughs> like many of us, found her way to Tallahassee to pursue education. And even if you're earning multiple degrees, education sounds like a limited time commitment. But the commitment to an education evolves into a connection to a community. And before you know it, Tallahassee is a pretty good place to live. And then Tallahassee becomes a pretty good place to invest your own energy. And for a few, like Commissioner Porter, that leads you to run for office so you can help everyone enjoy the great city that you've enjoyed and that you want uh, to continue to see succeed. In some ways, the candidates run on issues. Sure enough, Commissioner Porter has a website that spoke to a wide variety of issues. But that website seemed to have a consistent theme running through the issues as I looked at it. That consistent theme was words like everyone, all residents, consensus, equitable, everyone, community-led. So the candidate may run on issues, but the city commissioner has to address issues by representing and serving the community. And again, I'm not a campaign consultant, but it seems to me that a consistently inclusive theme across the spectrum of issues that a city commissioner faces can help someone get elected and at the same time, provide a solid base for serving the city of Tallahassee for these next four years. So now I'll read this certificate of election. It sounds a lot like the former one, <laughs> but she only gets one. So I'm gonna read every word. Certificate of election. The undersigned as city treasurer clerk does hereby certify that Jacqueline Porter has been duly elected by municipal election to the office of city commissioner for a term of four years to begin upon taking the oath of office at 5 p.m. on November the 16th, 2020, at which time 
the powers, duties, and responsibilities of the office as defined by the laws of the State of Florida and the charter and ordinances of said city will be assumed, given under my hand and the official seal of the City of Tallahassee, Florida. November 16th, 2020, Jim Cook, City Treasurer Clerk. Congratulations. Mayor Pro Tem serves on an annual basis, on a rotating basis as well. It is time for the selection and the election of the Mayor Pro Tem. It is customary that I go to the current Mayor Pro Tem for a motion. You're recognized, Mayor Pro Tem. Thank you, Mayor. It is indeed my pleasure and has been my pleasure to serve as the Mayor Pro Tem of the City of Tallahassee for this past year. And I am looking forward to the next Mayor Pro Tem because it is so much fun. I would like to make the motion that Commissioner Jeremy Matlow be nominated as the next Mayor Pro Tem for the City of Tallahassee. I will take a unanimous second. I second. It is seconded. Uh, Commissioner Matlow, looking forward to working with you as Mayor Pro Tem. Commissioner Williams Cox, you are a great yeah. partner, and I enjoyed the year that we served together as well in leadership. Motion on the table made by the Mayor Pro Tem is for Commissioner Jeremy Matlow to serve as the Mayor Pro Tem. I will give the second to Commissioner Porta. Although it's all supported by all of us, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed? Passes unanimously 5-0. Congratulations, Mr. Mayor Pro Tem. Commissioner Richardson, do you have any other further remarks that you would like to provide now, uh, beginning your, your new term here at the City Commission? You're recognized for comments. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I didn't have anything additional in terms of comments to add, but I would like to introduce two very special friends that are here uh, joining us tonight for this swearing-in ceremony, and that is former Deputy uh, Matt Drake and his beautiful bride, Carol, and if you all would stand and be recognized. And of course, I introduced my sister-in-law, Sunait, who's here as well. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. It is my honor and privilege to call on Commissioner Jack Porter for comments. Commissioner Porter. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, it really is hard to talk in these. My fellow members of the commission, distinguished guests, city and county staff, and to all the people of Tallahassee, it is truly the honor of my life to be here with you all today. The first thing I'd like to say is thank you. Thank you to everyone who believed in me and to everyone who believes that a better Tallahassee for all of us is possible. Our mandate for change was strong indeed, and the election that sat me here on this dais was almost without precedent. But here today in these august chambers, we move on from the contentiousness of the political season and move on to the sober, all-important work of governing. And let there be no doubt, we meet today at a time of great need and with weighty decisions on behalf of residents, citizens, and taxpayers hanging in the balance. To those who supported me and to those who did not, I solemnly pledge here and now to wake up every single day and fight for you to the best of my abilities. I will offer a sincere listening ear, a collaborative heart, and a dedicated mind to the problems and opportunities we face in the city of Tallahassee. As others have noted recently, we are likely to face a serious influx of both public health strain and economic fallout in the form of evictions and homelessness stemming from COVID-19 as we near what President-elect Biden has referred to as a dark winter approaching. Thousands of local families and families of FAMU, Florida State, and TCC students 
face treacherous decisions about the shape of their holidays and the outbreaks that may materialize will have serious effects statewide and in our community. Many experts have noted what they call a hollowing out of the public sector and municipal authority around the country, the state and even here in Tallahassee. Decision makers have handed over public oversight and taxpayer dollars too readily to others. I commit today to help restore balance to these conversations and ensure the public interest is first and foremost when it comes to our public resources. You can count on me always to stick up for this great city, our great public utilities, our municipal airport, which affords us amazing opportunities. And now more than ever during this day of virtual schooling and working from home to re-examine real meaningful local government action on our broadband internet infrastructure for our private sector growth and the good of those who are being left behind in the digital divide. But there are also many positive blessings to count the season as well. The elections of this year have represented a realignment and a hopeful leap of faith towards a new way of doing things and an overturning of old arrangements and alliances that have lost their mandate from the public. I'm proud to be a part of that and I will not let you down. This new composition of the city and county commissioners represent a new day. The public is demanding that major decisions about our future are made deliberatively with a new transparency in consultation with one another and our neighbors in the light of day and not brokered outside the public eye by unseen forces. Our everyday neighbors and the least of these must also always come first. I take the faith that is placed in me as the youngest woman ever elected to this office very seriously. I will strive to do right by all those who have reached out to express their hopeful optimism to me. To Commissioner Elaine Bryant, thank you for your service and your joyful spirit. To Mayor John Daly, I look forward to helping shape this new consensus with you. You have been an anchor of institutional knowledge and experience on this relatively new commission and I want to work together to help burnish the public trust. Thank you for the graciousness you have shown me in recent months, and I hope to build on it for the betterment of Tallahassee in good faith and with a collegial spirit. To Commissioner Jeremy Matlow, our, our new mayor pro tem, you have been a friend and a mentor for years, and for that I am grateful. I think I speak for people of all stripes and persuasions across our great city when I say thank you for your leadership, your example, and acting of, on the courage of your convictions. You are known for standing up for the right thing, even when it's not the easy thing. And that is an admirable, indispensable quality in the lifelong quest for progress and justice. The people of this community owe you a great debt of gratitude for your tough, principled approach to policymaking and governance. And thank you for sticking your neck out to support me when the outcome was far from certain. To Mayor Pro Tem Diane Williams-Cox, it's an honor to serve with you, and I'm grateful to get to know you better throughout this process. As the two female members of this commission, it will be up to us to ensure that the wisdom and toughness unique to women is always well represented. Too often, women in politics find themselves divided against one another to their disadvantage, and I'm here to offer my perspective and my voice in partnership with yours for a city that works better for all women, girls, and people that need help the most. I know that as a tireless advocate for this community and a fellow maker of good trouble, from time to time, I am in good company in this regard. Here's to putting five on it for the future of Tallahassee, and let's keep these guys in line. <laughs> 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 to Commissioner Curtis Richardson, I am humbled to sit here on this dais with someone with such a long and distinguished career of public service to this community and the dean of this body. From your career as an educational professional to your tenure on the school board, your four terms fighting for the proud people of District 8 in the Florida House, and now another vote of confidence from the citizens here on the City Commission, you have always answered the call when it comes to the noble cause of serving the public. As the occupants of seat one and two, we share a unique distinction of serving during the same election cycles and appearing before the voters on the same ballot. That's a special bond in this world 
and I look forward to honoring and nurturing that by your side for these next four years. To my family who has come to be with me on this day and all over the world, um, words cannot express my gratitude to you. I love you, Chiomu, and I do everything I can to make you proud. And finally, to the supporters, volunteers, and people who made this day possible for me, of which there are too many to name, I offer my deepest and most sincere thank you. Together, we will focus on public safety first and foremost, um, looking after our tree canopy, our environmental resources, maintain our excellent park system, help bridge economic and racial segregation, reduce crime and poverty, and work towards the best possible quality of life for all of Tallahassee, no matter your zip code. God bless you all, and thank you. This concludes the reorganization ceremony of the City of Tallahassee. I would like to recognize Commissioner Porter for a very special introduction for the benediction. Commissioner Porter. Thank you. I would like to recognize my father, John Porter. Um, the best parts of me come from you, and I'm so proud to have you here today. So if you could come up to the podium to give the benediction, please. Please stand and bow with me in prayer. Our gracious, merciful, and loving God, we thank you for the opportunity to be a part of this very special occasion today. We are humbled by your compassion and patience with each one of us. We thank you, Father, for establishing governments so that our cities would function well, so that we could live in peace with each other, and as a result, our lives would be enriched. We're grateful for the city of Tallahassee, its rich heritage, and for the civil servants that we honor today. We remember with deep affection those who have served in the past and have left us a legacy to build upon. Thank you, Father, for our mayor, city manager, city attorney, city treasurer, the city commissioners, and others who have chosen to serve. Father, we thank you for all that had to happen in, the, in their lives to bring them to this place today. Thank you for the family members, educators, and mentors who inspired them to serve and trained them to overcome. Thank you for each obstacle they faced that taught them humility, courage, and perseverance. We humbly ask, Father, that the service of this group of people would lead to many transformed lives. We ask that as they serve, they would consider the needs of others more important than their own needs. That they would focus not on the titles they have, but on the vulnerable people they serve. That they would rise above themselves and leave a noble legacy inspire and empower them to bear the responsibility of leadership with integrity, courage, and humility. As they serve, Father, help them to see the good in those that they disagree with. May they overcome cynicism, discouragement, and doubt, and cultivate a spirit of cooperation, faith, and boldness. When they face difficulties and challenges, help them to remember that you are greater than whatever challenge they face and that you love them and the people they serve more than they can imagine. Finally, Father, we ask that at the end of their tenure, they would look back with joy on what was accomplished, that they would be at peace with what they did and reflect on being mindful of you with each decision they made. We praise you, O oh God, for your grace and commit this great city and these servants to you. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to uh, invite you to come join us at a reception for Commissioner Porter and Commissioner Richardson outside. Please, let's try to social distance as much as possible. And finally, I would ask uh, Commissioner Porter and Commissioner Richardson's family to stay seated. I believe there's the opportunity once everybody leaves, if you all would like to take formal pictures in the chambers with your mask off. Once we get everybody out, then of course, uh, we would love to do that. With that, we stand adjourned.